Nicholas99, I've done a lot of videos on him lately lads, and that's because he won the E-Champions League. And you can bet your bottom dollar, whoever wins the E-World Cup, I'll be doing more analysis and deconstruction of videos for you guys. But basically with the Nicholas, I did uh, how he does his corner technique that won in the game against Tets. I've also done a defending tutorial. Now, more specifically related to this tutorial today, I've also done a previous tutorial, right, on how he attacks with the midfielders and makes them make the run forwards, right, to give him more options in the bots. Now, if you haven't seen that, go and check it out, because it will pay dividends for you guys in terms of listening and understanding this tutorial. And lads, I am about to break it down for you. Griezmann, three men around him, to somehow find some space. Ronaldo, fantastic, opening the drive back. He's made himself the tiniest bit of space. Almost feels like a bit of a toy. Didn't really go for him. It's a display game, absolutely ridiculous. The last on the goal line. Now, what I actually explained to you guys in the previous tutorial about the midfielders making the runs and how Nicholas loves to trigger them runs is the fact that when he does that, he triggers Hullet or Sanchez to go forward, it gives him one more option in the bots, number one. Number two, it makes it hard for the opponent to track them. Okay, because you're overloading the center of the pitch. Now, there is a specific attacking technique that you can use with this technique. So it's a technique upon a technique that Nicholas likes to use, or has used, or did show that he did like to use in the E-Champions League. And that is making the runner go forwards, in terms of triggering that midfielder, making the run forwards to give yourself an extra runner or option in the box, and then taking the ball wide to draw the defense out. What that does is it allows you to find, not number one, the attackers, or allow the attackers, your strikers, to find space in the bots because the opponent has dragged the defense out, basically opens up space in the middle, and the, you know, the strikers can sit in those holes. They can take the ball to the wing and basically pass it inside, inside, inside to basically find the options in the middle. But it also gives you an extra option. So you have those strikers in those holes, but you've also got that midfielder that you triggered to make the run. Now I'm gonna show you the example here. Right, we're gonna play this example. It's Nicholas versus Tets, all right? We have Hullet. He's playing it around with the midfielders. This is a key technique of attacking two. I'm gonna have a tutorial on that soon. But as you see here, Hullet has been triggered to make the run. Now this is a common attacking technique that Nicholas likes to use. I did deconstruct this in the previous tutorial. But he's triggered that run by holding down L1 and pressing the pass button. What he then does is takes it wide to then draw the defenders out. Now you notice this, just the way the defenders are running right now. Look, he's going this way. He's going this way. He's going this way. He is going this way. He is going this way. He is going this way. What does that do? It leaves spaces here. Okay, and what you'll find is your strikers will usually sit in these holes. So you can take it to the wing and then find the central passes. Now, Hullet is the extra runner. What does that mean? Hullet's going to go forward and he's going to sit in those spaces and holes. It gives you one extra option in the bots to try and find the pass into. As you see here, Nicholas will play the ball to the wing. He will have the ball with Cancelo. He will then feint him, take it to the wing. Now this is the exact attacking technique or the exact scenario that I like to find myself into. I like to get myself into this scenario all the time. Why? Because you always can find those passes into the center, whether it's from the line here, whether it's from a back pass to the, to the left back and then a pass into here, whether it's just feinting the defender. So if he goes this way, I'll make sure I go this way, the left stick dribbling and find the pass central. There's always ways you can find the pass in the middle of the pitch here. Now. As you'll see, what does this mean now? Because he's triggered that run with Hullet, look what happens. Hullet, R9, Cruyff, finding those spaces. And guess what, lads? Look where the defenders are. They're over here. They're not here, they're over here. Look at the space in the bots. Look at it. So we can exploit that, lads. And now with the central runner going forwards, like Nicholas likes to do with his attacking technique, Look what it does, gives him more options. Okay, he finds the pass into Cruyff, into R9, and uh, bang. He gets the save, but it's very unlucky not to get the goal in the end. And I believe if he had to actually, if the AI, if, well, if the game actually passed it to Hullet, I have no doubt that it was a goal, because Hullet would have had the ball here, he could have turned back, passed to R9, and basically had an open goal, or he could have shot near post. 
But my point is, when you treat your runners forwards, it gives you an extra option in the bots, but the attacking technique that you can use with this technique, you can then take it to the wing and then pass in the center. So trigger the runs in the midfield, make them go forward, and then take it to the wing. Gives you the extra options in the bots, you've opened up more space because you've drawn the defense out, and it's a very viable way of attacking. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. And lastly, if you do want any pre-gaming fuel or supplements, then head over to atpscience.com, which is the first link in the description, and use the code AussieFIFA at checkout to get yourself a discount. Not only is it the cheapest way to get supplements, but it helps me out a ton, guys, so thank you.